As a nation, for people to be certain of uninterrupted power supply, there's need to do the right thing, ensure partnering to push investment, be audacious, accountable, better with risk assessment, and attract big off-takers. Devon Babajide Song listed this on Wednesday at the Lagos Electricity Policy Stakeholders presentation hosted by the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Resources held in Victoria Island. Plus TV Africa Lagos State Government House correspondent Love Ikukwe Edokun has details in this report. Lagos is the commercial nerve center and most popular state in Nigeria. It's home to one of the largest mega cities in the world, hosting over 2,000 industries and about 65% of Nigeria's commercial activities. Stable power supply, however, remains its biggest infrastructural and development challenge. The unveiling of the state electricity policy could be indicative of light at the end of the tunnel. <coughs> Governor Babajide Sawunlu described the policy as a significant milestone towards achieving uninterrupted power supply. You know, we've procured over 20,000 meters and we're both developing power rangers that will go to those residents and be able to work with their own staff, right, and be able to have meters installed in, in, in those um, residents. And over a longer period of time, we can recoup the cost of, of the meter. But what it does is that there'll be power in, in those places. And people have said to us, once you see power, they will pay. Also speaking, Commissioner for Energy and Mineral Resources, Olaleri Odushote, said the state government is committed to improving electricity supply as well as working to control it. The Lagos state government is committed to improving electricity supply in Lagos and that's why we're here today. We have looked at the energy supplies in Lagos. We have looked at the ability to generate energy in Lagos. We've looked at the demand for energy supply in Lagos and we've come up with a policy that is going to define and describe the short-term, the mid-term and the long-term requirements that will lead to universal energy supply in Lagos. Panelists at the event called for a coordinated approach towards strengthening relationships as well as looking for alternate energy to ensure uninterrupted electricity supply. We, we see a huge opportunity. We, we would like to really see a bit more of that you know, coordinated approach. Right, because it's not a capital problem, as we can see. It's not a capital problem. It is more of a coordination um, problem um, that we need to resolve. If we require industrialization commensurate with the population, then electricity supply should be our number one priority. And there, I will commend the governor for even starting this at all. The policy is expected to drive yes, development towards a future where security and Lagos. sustainability of electricity supply is assured and it also seeks to contribute to the reduction of carbon emissions, thus improving the living conditions of Lagosians. From Lagos, love Ikuku Oyedoku for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.